explosion rocks Lebanon's capital Beirut live update. Hundreds of people have been wounded in a massive explosion at Beirut's port Lebanese health minister Hamid Hassan told Al Jazeera. The explosion released a shockwave causing widespread damage to buildings and shattering windows in different parts of the city. The cause of the explosion was not immediately clear. Prime Minister Hassan Diab has called for a day of mourning on Wednesday. The Lebanese interior minister has said that ammonium nitrate was stored in the port which is what caused the explosion, local media reported. He said Lebanese customs should be asked about why it was there. A massive explosion has rocked Lebanon's capital, Beirut, causing many casualties, damaging buildings and shattering windows. The blast, which flattened much of the capital's port, was felt across the city as a giant mushroom cloud rose above it. People help a man who was wounded in a massive explosion in Beirut, Lebanon, Tuesday, August. 4, 2020. Massive explosions rocked downtown Beirut on Tuesday, flattening much of the port, damaging building. Cars were thrown three floors up onto roofs of factories, Al Jazeera correspondent. Al Jazeera's Timor Azari reaching the Beirut port shortly after the explosion, said the site looks like a wasteland, with debris seen everywhere. Rescue services have not been able to reach the actual site of the explosion yet because fires are still raging. Helicopters are circling the area trying to extinguish the fire, Azari said. Azari spoke to the captain of an Italian civilian ship, the Orient Queen, that was docked near the blast site. He was covered in blood after the explosion threw him across a room of his ship. Several people on board were wounded and taken to hospital. It really was an incredible explosion. People here are saying that they have never seen anything like it. Even on the way here the roads were covered in glass, Azari said. Explosion, caused by highly explosive material stored in warehouse, official. Al Jazeera's Zina Kadir reporting from Beirut said the head of general security, General Abbas Ibrahim, visited the site of the explosion and said it appears the explosion was caused by highly explosive material that was stored in a warehouse. According to Ibrahim, the explosive material was confiscated years ago. We are at the